Fellas, AC here, welcome to another video. Well, Valentine's Day is around the corner, so I thought to myself, why don't I do a video on Valentine's Day fragrances, date night fragrances on a budget. Not everybody has the money or disposable income to go and buy expensive fragrances. So I thought I'll do a video for uh, Valentine's Day or date night fragrances on a budget. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to start this review by telling you that eight fragrances in this list are reviewed. Two not to be reviewed. Two should be reviewed. Excuse me. So let's start. And I'm going to tell you the moods as well. So Valentine's Day is all about intimacy or going on a first date. Great, great, great chance to meet a new lady and introduce yourself. So those are the two scenarios I'm going to take care of. So the first fragrance on this list is something that I have not reviewed before. And this fragrance is quite suitable if you're going on a first date. So you're not sure about the lady, you do not know her tastes, and you want to still create an environment wherein it's very inviting, um, it's romantic, obviously, and it smells nice. It doesn't smell cheap, and it's not too shouty. So you want to leave the right impression. And this fragrance, I haven't got a full bottle of. This is Mercedes Club Black. Mercedes Club Black, Black is a very very good fragrance option when you haven't met someone and you want to leave a very good impression it's a very fine vanilla very rich vanilla it's dark in nature and it's supported by a woody character and that gives the impression of not only warm and inviting but also solid person solidity woody scents give that impression right so this would be a very good choice for people who are going on a first date and leave a solid impression. Preferred age group, age group would be 30 plus. You know, it's this rich dark vanilla. This is not a lovey-dovey vanilla. I'll do a full review very soon. Mercedes Club Black, terrific option. Next one is a staple for date nights. It's been in existence for, I don't know, 25 odd years. And this is another vanilla scent, but it's combined with a note of tea and rubber. Some of you might have guessed it. This is Bulgari's Black. This came out in 1998. I haven't reviewed it yet, but I'm going to review it soon. This is for those people who really want to, you know, attract a lady. This is a, one of those naughty playboy kind of a scent. So this is about not a serious date. This is about just, you know, a short term affair. This is a fantastic green tea mixed with vanilla. It smells amazing when the temperature is a little bit low, as in not too hot, not too cold, but lowish temperature. 25, uh, sorry, 20 to 15 to 20 degrees is when this smells amazing. And it has this very nice lovey-dovey vanilla. It has some florals and woodiness. It's a very fine fragrance and it's a playboyish kind of, it has also a suede rubber-like smell, burnt rubber smell. So don't go too heavy on this. Just go two or four sprays, you know, maximum. It projects a lot as well. So if you're gonna be in a restaurant scenario, this probably will suffocate her. If you're going on in a pub or a uh, sort of a club scenario, you can go more than that. The moment your body starts to heat, that's when this starts to show its magic. It needs heat for magic. Yeah, very nice option if you're on a budget. You'll get this from, I don't know, 30, 35 pounds quite easily. And it will be a staple in your collection if you haven't already smelt it. Those people that have been using this fragrance for a long time swear by it. Ladies absolutely love it. Okay, next on my collection is even cheaper. It is Latafa Amir Al Oud Intense Oud, I believe. Yes. I have reviewed this fragrance. This is a Playboy scent. It is caramel, vanilla, birch, and oud as well. This is uh, birch makes this fragrance smell as if you're you're eating something which is made of caramel and vanilla sitting right next to a bonfire. So it has this birchy, smoky feel. Very comforting. Very very comforting. So most suitable would be an outdoor environment because this is quite strong. So if you're going for a walk and stuff like that, it would be ideal in a cold winter's night. Age group, 20 plus. Perfect. You know, maybe 25, but don't go, don't overspray this one. This works its magic when you've got two sprays on your winter coat. 
rather than 10 sprays. You know, this is not one of those fragrances that you want to overspray. It will be too sweet, too suffocating, and maybe even too birchy. It's got a lot of birch in it. Just got two sprays. This is a smell of intimacy, but also has this youthful character. Fantastic fragrance and doesn't cost a lot of money. Doesn't smell cheap. Tatafa, Amir, Al Oud, Intense Oud. Done a full review and everything now in this list has been reviewed. Next is a fragrance which is very unique. It again is a vanilla scent, but this vanilla has been combined with a smell of orange. It also has a spicy, boozy character. Absolutely fine. This fragrance is fantastic. It's green fragrance as well. It is Lolita Lampica Green Lover. The first time I smelled this, I was like, this smells like Sunshine Man by Amouage. And it does. It has that feel, that smell. If you live in a tropical country, this is going to be magical on Valentine's Day. So if you're living in South Asia, where it's humid and warm, this will work brilliantly because it has a green aspect. Terrific fragrance. Age groups, 25 plus. Scenario, first day. Leave a brilliant impression, you know? So, done for fifth coming. Now this is for mature gentlemen. This is for people who are 35 plus, who don't want to wear vanilla sweet fragrances. This fragrance is a barbershop fragrance like no other. This emphasis here is on citruses and woods. It is a barbershop fragrance. It is compared to Creed's Bois du Portugal. So a lot of citrusy aspect and brilliant cedar. This fragrance is amazing. It's brilliant for people who are established in their lives, who have great conversation ability, going for the first date, want to leave an impression, but don't want to be seen as trying too hard by wearing sweet fragrances, if you see what I mean. Perfect for a 35 plus gentleman, first day, want to leave a elegant, sophisticated man's impression, go for Lalique, Purom, Eau de Parfum. Yeah. I've also done, a, I've not done a full review, but I've done a comparison video between this and Creed. So we've done one, two, three, four, five, five done, five left. <clears throat> Next one is so unique. It's not very common. So if you're one of those people who's concerned about wearing a fragrance that has already been worn by 30,000 people and every girl in town knows the smell of that fragrance and you want to avoid that scenario. This fragrance is one of my favorite Versace's. It is Versace Man. My review of this fragrance is very old, so you'll have to cope with the poor video quality. But Versace Man is a tobacco fragrance with spices. There's two spices in this fragrance which I really like are cardamom and saffron. And mixed with that is this powdery tobacco, which is more like a dry leaf tobacco and woods. It smells so unique. It's, it really is one of the most unique fragrances in my collection and one of the most elegant fragrances. It doesn't project a lot. So you have to be in an intimate situation. And I would prefer this fragrance I would recommend this fragrance for people who already know their dates. So this is probably a fourth or fifth date or your regular girlfriend, your wife, that sort of. This has this very sincere, elegant, comforting smell, right? And perfect for people 25 plus age group. It's really very, very nice. Romantic, comforting, sincere, that sort of thing. Awesome fragrance, very unique as well. Next on my list is a fragrance which I recently reviewed. I do not have a full bottle of it, but I highly recommend it. It is Rocha's Moustache Eau de Parfum. This is a superb date night scent, especially for people in the 25 plus category. Any scenario, first date, regular date, no problem. It smells so good. It's a fantastic spicy woody fragrance, right? It smells like chili flake jam mixed with green tea, uh, sorry, black tea and woody, woodiness, and has this ambery sweetness about itself. It's spicy, woody, ambery, sweet. I've done a full review. You can check it out. This is a fun scent, which smells absolutely delicious. Yeah. So two things. So perfect for anybody who's going for first date or a regular date. 25 plus, no problem. Next is a fragrance which is not sweet at all. And it is a woody scent. So perfect for people who don't want to wear sweet, mushy kind of a smell because they're not like that, but they're sincere. Woody smells 
give off this impression of being a sin sincere gentleman, right? And this fragrance is called Montana Graphite. This is, again, one of those fragrances which is underrated. Nobody talks about it, except me and a few other chaps. And it smells amazing. It doesn't cost a lot of money. This is Iso Super Cedar mixed with um, violet leaf. So somewhere there's a little hint of petroleum, leather, woods and florals. Fantastic. Not sweet, a little bit sour, slight sweetness, a little bit sour, woody, great scent. Doesn't last a long time. So it doesn't project and last a long time, four or five hours. But I guess your date will not, not last more than four or five hours. So uh, probably 30 plus. Probably for a person who wants to leave an impression of a dependable, warm and unique kind of personality. That's where I would recommend this. Highly recommend this. I would easily wear this in my, on my first date. You know, but I'm, I'm not sure who, what the taste of lady is uh, meeting her easily, and it doesn't cost a lot of money. Next, next on my list, number nine, is a fragrance which smells absolutely delicious for people who want to smell edible, <laughs> literally. And there's a place for such fragrance. It doesn't cost a lot of money. This is Ard Al Zafran Oud 24 Hours. It's basically a tube of Black Orchid by Tom Ford. And this is all about chocolate, truffle, chocolate, florals, right? It smells delicious and it smells amazing. Doesn't last a long time, doesn't project a lot. So four or five hours is peak performance. Trick is do not over apply because it will turn more and more tackier, sweeter, cloying. You want it to be, uh, you know, warm, comforting and delicious without smelling too sweet and cheap. That's a trick, you know, you have to get your balance right. Perfect for any age group between 20 and 60, you know, as long as you wear it right. Confidence, it's all about confidence. If you go 10 sprays that lacks, that means you lack confidence. You want the person to come closer to you, to see your warm aspects, to feel your warm aspects, rather than blaring like a you know megaphone you don't want that confidence is all about you know you come closer to me if you want to have a sniff at my fragrance that kind of thing so the last one and i always say this you know people who overspray are looking basically for validation they they want people to judge them by their fragrance rather than their personality it's it's a subtle difference but it's a big difference last fragrance in my list is an absolute box office fragrance. This is Rosasi Sotur Wow. This is a cinnamon fragrance, but boy does it smell amazing. Cinnamon, cardamom, oud, slightly powdery. It's just amazing. It's really one of those fragrances that you want to wear when you want to impress one and all. It projects a lot. It lasts a long, long time. So two or three sprays, if you're going in an outdoor scenario, this would be ideal. It's dry, very fragrant, extremely aromatic, and very magnetic. Amazing fragrance. You want to impress everybody in the room. You wear this. So Tho Vau will never fail you. It's got tremendous, it's an amazing scent. Very, very romantic as well. So these are the 10 I would like to recommend if you're on a budget. I hope you enjoy the review, fellas. Take care and have a great Valentine's Day if you're going out. Take care. Bye-bye.